Amy, how can Neogen Analytics help you digitize your corrective actions? Upon you know onboarding the application, you would have the ability to identify your corrective action protocols. You would then establish through filters, when does this corrective action need to be applied? Is it site specific? Is it analyte specific? Is it zone specific? And then you would outline your activities that need to be completed in order to close out your corrective action. So there might be some cleaning, there might be some investigation. Upon receiving a result, a non-conformance or an out of spec, either through manual entry, through automation with integration, as an example, the software would automatically trigger a corrective action. And this corrective action is triggered, again, based upon what you've configured in settings. So if it's a Listeria failure, it knows exactly what activities, retests, things like that need to be completed. I know that I have a failure on my drain number five here. I've been asked to go out and work through this corrective action. I'm new. I don't know the policy, right? That's okay. I don't need to. Settings is going to drive that for me. And within the application, I would open up this corrective action and see the type of failure it was. In this next section, it's going to tell me the activities that need to be completed to close it out. So there is a clean and sanitize. Upon clicking this I, I could see some additional notes, maybe open up the SOP associated with this type of clean. You could capture notes upon completing this activity. You would mark it complete as you would the remaining remaining activities. And then the software is going to automatically generate a sample analysis for my retest. Once both of these sections are complete, the software would recognize that this corrective action is officially passing the criteria established in settings. And as an a individual who's completing these, you don't need to know exactly what it is because it's going to tell you. Here's what you need to do. It will generate these automatically for me. So I just follow the software and the steps listed here. Once this is deemed complete, the software would automatically push it into this for review stage for someone to review the activities, the notes, attachments, things like that, and sign off. They could verify that this was complete, mark it complete, and once they do that, it would then move over into the historical section. So you don't need to know maybe what your policy states, what all the activities are, how many retests the software will tell them upon opening up each and every corrective action.